Ace Croft on the left of your screen, Thames Rowing Club on the right, the Buckinghamshire station, the men's four. Coxed four, you can just see the Coxes just behind at the bowman. Both crews off to a very clean start. And they're just about level. It's again the Buckinghamshire crew, for whatever it is, and they may be the stronger crew, we're about to find out, have made the stronger start. Now the Thames, the Thames crew here won the Temple Challenge last year. The coxswain, Connie, was the winning cox of that eight, so she knows the river. Yeah, you've got three of last year's crew, so yes, they know, they know what they want to do, they know what they need to do. So they'll be stretching it out now. Just to cruise the first half, brace it hard, and see where they are break the back of the opposition early on. And just since there's a lot more noise, I have to say, from the banks than we've heard for the later races in the last half hour or so. Well, that's the lateness in the hour. The bar's doing a good job, a good trade, or whether they realise this is... A good race. A, yeah, a crew, this crew here, who really want to turn it on. They have a mission in 2016. We're now live, and we can see as much as the crowds on the bank, that they have done their job. Thames Rowing Club have come through. They've left Agecroft behind from Salford with their purpose-built facility in Salford Quays, up near Manchester in the north of England. I believe they row on the Manchester Ship Canal. So that must be lovely to get some flat water here without a, a 50,000-ton ship trying to run you down. Yep, talking to Manchester University, they have that same sort of problem there on the uh, Bridgewater Canal, and that's always one of the hazards. Never mind the wildlife, got to worry about the uh, ocean-going ships which are making their way through those waterways. I'm sure the coach, Ben Lewis, is happy with this so far as they cruise down. Connie, the coxswain, is talking to the Thames crew. And the bowman should be giving the coxswain instructions as to exactly where the competition is. Because the coxswain in, the, in these cox boards cannot see the other boat. So if you're ahead, you need someone to tell you the location of the competition and what moves they are making. They're not letting up, are they? I've got to say, Thames, they're still ensuring that if Agecroft have any ideas that they're going to strike back and they seem to have picked up their rating that uh, Thames are not going to be caught they're going to make sure they're motoring towards that line the finishing line and they are safely through to the next round of the competition and they're going to make them work and that's credit to Agecroft yes won the elite four at uh, the skulls at um, Wallingford second in the seniors at the Metropolitan Regatta But it's Thursday at Henley. It starts getting real serious now. Freya Hall, the Cox for Agecroft, urging her for trying to drive them forward. But Connie Pido has this under control in connection with Nick Turnbull in the bow seat. Last few strokes towards the line. Thames Rowing Club have done what they wanted to do. They had to work possibly harder than they wanted, but they have done what they wanted in this Britannia Challenge Cup heat. They look determined, don't they? That's easy to say, but there's a, there's a focus there saying, right, that's another one tick. Next. We won last year, you don't lose your focus. There's very many people win one Henley, very few can win a second. 